So this video is about the basics of a Louisiana succession. What is it and when is it required? So when somebody who lived in Louisiana passes away, it's likely that they owned some stuff. Maybe they owned a home, maybe they owned some additional property, likely they had a bank account, checking, savings, maybe a CD, maybe they even had some stock, um, probably had a vehicle. Who knows what they had, maybe more or less than that but um, there's likely going to be some people who are going to want to claim those assets. And so years ago, it was determined that it's our court system that must oversee the, the management and the distribution of somebody's assets when they die to their heirs. So pretty quickly when somebody dies, a determination is made whether a succession is necessary. And a succession is necessary if somebody lived in Louisiana and they own some things that are frozen. Now, not everything gets frozen when somebody dies or some things can pass to heirs or beneficiaries outside of a succession. Some people have life insurance. They name their children as their beneficiaries. That goes outside of a succession. Some people have an IRA, individual retirement account, where they name maybe their spouse or others as beneficiaries. That goes outside of a succession. But most of what people have has to, has to go through the, the succession proceeding. So some people wonder, well, if the person had a will, does that eliminate the need to complete a succession? And it doesn't. It's the, the, the will just simply names an executor who's in charge of hiring the lawyers and guiding the family through the court proceeding. And a will tells a judge who to make sure that at the end of the succession proceeding, the assets get dispersed to, but a will doesn't eliminate the need for a succession. So what is a succession? So let's go back to, to that example where dad died and he owned some things. Let's say he had a will and it really doesn't matter whether he had a will or whether he didn't, the succession is still necessary. But let's say he had, he had a will, let's say his wife died years ago and, and now he left two children, his will left everything to his two children equally. Maybe it named one of his children as the executors, maybe it named both children as co-executors so the children, you know, after dad dies, they can't just go to the bank with dad's will and say, give me dad's money. It says right here, I'm, I'm his heirs. And they can't go to the DMV and just say, you know, give me, give me dad's car. And they can't go to the brokerage firm and say, give me dad's stock. And they can't go sell dad's house. They have to hire a lawyer, somebody like myself, and we have to prepare just, uh, it's, it's a very, specific set of rules and uh, record keeping requirements and court pleadings that must be prepared. Uh, all of the participants must sign off on these court pleadings as they get prepared. And we have to follow a procedure that our government has determined is the, is the procedure for transferring assets to the heirs. And so there's lists of assets, there's uh, petitions asking judges to sign court orders, um, there are court orders that a judge signs ordering third parties to transfer assets to different people. But you can't just wing it. You can't really do it by yourself. Um, it's fairly complicated. More complicated than it needs to be, sometimes. More expensive than it needs to be, maybe. But it is a court proceeding and it's a formal process and um, there's some protections in place to make sure that the wrong people don't get a hold of the assets. So that's really, in a nutshell, what a succession is. It's when somebody dies and they own assets and nobody can get to those assets or sell those assets or get to those accounts. Then there's a procedure that must be followed where the, the heirs and the participants in this must hire lawyers and we've got to follow a set of rules and at the end of the proceeding, a judge will sign a court order or court orders ordering banks, brokerage firms, ordering real estate to be retitled, um, ordering the Department of Motor Vehicles to retitle vehicles. So a judge at the end of the day signs these court orders. And again, it's the, it's the lawyers who prepare all of this paperwork and all of the petitions and the court orders and the lists of assets and all the things that the judge and the judge's office needs to see to satisfy them that everything's being done correctly. So sometimes this proceeding takes a very long time. Sometimes it's quick. 
Um, most of the time it takes longer than people thought it would take. It gets complicated because there's money involved and people are sharing an inheritance. And when there's a lack of trust or a lack of records and then everybody starts wondering, hey, is something going on here? And uh, sometimes, you know, it just, it, it drags on for a very long period of time. So that's the very basics. It's a court proceeding that's required when somebody dies. It's required even if you have a will and um, you'll need a lawyer or lawyers to go through it. So in my videos, I'm gonna be sharing a lot more detailed information with you. That's the basics. Hope you're getting an understanding um, and avoid a lot of confusion. Have a great day.